Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Amanda Dewald. I am a wife to two crazy boys whom you might hear in the background. I'm sitting on my deck and they are playing in the pool. So I apologize for any background noise, but I really wanted to get this filmed while I had some time. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, and I am, let's see, 15 weeks and five days today. Is that right? Yes. 15 weeks and five days. So this is going to be my 15 week update. And I don't have all that much to talk about. Honestly, this week has been very similar to week 14. Um, I will say the headaches have kind of dissipated. I've definitely still had a lot of headaches. Um, but not to the degree they're more just like mild, like dull headaches, which I can handle. So that was super exciting. Um, I've definitely been feeling the baby flutters and I know I, I mentioned that in week 14 and I've been continuing to feel those same baby flutters. It really hasn't changed much since last week. Um, I did get some baby items from a few family members and I will insert a video here and show you the new stuff we got for our little baby. Okay, so this is the room that will be the nursery. Um, right now it's got, this is Danny's old bed, this is Andrew's old bed that still needs to be taken down, and then some stuff that I still need to clear out. Um, but we're going to repaint the walls, we're going to redo everything. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, we got some baby stuff. This adorable little stuffy was made by um, one of my cousins. She crocheted it and I love it. It's just so super cute and I can't wait to give it to him. And then um, we had gotten this little adorable onesie from Dan's cousin. Even though it's not true, this isn't a result of social distancing, but it's adorable anyway. Um, my mom bought some burp cloths and some flannel receiving blankets, um, which I also like these because I, um, I did cloth diapering with Andrew and I plan on cloth diapering again with um, this baby. And I loved using these, like I would cut a couple of these up and make wipes. Um, and I've saved a couple of, um, like some of our cloth diapers, but I didn't save any of the wipes. So I'm gonna have to make some new wipes and these are like perfect for that. Um, and then my mom also bought um, this adorable little onesie, new to the crew, some little zoo animals, and then a really cute pattern, little, little onesie. And then also this adorable little thing, look at this hat, big adventures ahead, and it's got the um, like arm thing that folds down so it covers their hands, and then the little like booties, which is so adorable. So for those of you who might be like, oh, well, they have two boys, like, don't you just have everything? Well, we do have two boys. However, we threw out like all of our baby stuff a couple years ago because I always wanted two kid or three kids, um, but my husband was kind of like, eh. And so we were trying to clean stuff out, like clean out our basement and everything. And we looked at the, um, the like state that all of our stuff was in and after going through two kids they just were not like things that we would probably even use for a new baby and we didn't know if we were going to have another one we didn't know when it was going to be and to be completely honest we both thought that the next one would be a girl so we were like oh well, we'll just buy all new like girl stuff and nope it's not um it's a boy and so we've thrown out all of our or not, i shouldn't say thrown out we like gave it away all of our baby stuff so now we're reaccumulating baby things and um another thing that i have noticed i know i talked in previous videos about how like my boobs feel so much fuller and like they haven't really like they still fit in my bras but they're just like more filled well, they are like popping out of my bras now. They definitely have grown. Um, I put on a bathing suit top this past weekend so that I could do some tanning on my deck. And I walked out and <laughs> to my husband and I was like, is this inappropriate to wear? And he was like, yeah, like it did not, like they were just popping out. So I'm definitely gonna need a new swimsuit for the summer, uh, which should be interesting because 
with my last two pregnancies, I wasn't pregnant over the summer. Um, with Danny, he was born May 29th, and Andrew was born July 12th, so I had a little bit of the summer, but like not enough to invest in a swimsuit. Um, but I'm gonna be pregnant this whole summer. <laughs> So I think investing in a swimsuit would be great. And um, I will share, I got some maternity shorts and I'm actually wearing them right now, so I'll show you. These are from uh, Target and I really like them because they are like, they have, I don't even know what this is called, but they're like elastic here. So like as my belly gets bigger and bigger, like they'll just stretch with it. Whereas they're not like the ones that come all the way up, which is super nice for the summer because um because it's so hot and like having the thing all the way up on my belly in the summertime is just like one more layer that i'm just sweating uh so i really like those shorts you can probably get them lots of places but those are just target brand i think they were like 20 bucks um so those were great um pretty much everything else has remained the same like i i guess i'm in that like sort of like quiet phase of pregnancy right now where I'm not really feeling baby like enough to confirm that like everything's okay like I feel flutters but I don't it's not like I can say like oh yeah he was kicking like throughout the day or whatever um and my symptoms have really faded um so I don't know it's kind of weird like it's weird like are you in there baby like is everything okay <laughs> um but it's been fun and there's really not much else to talk about for week 15 so um i figured that what i could add to this video is sharing the baby name so um if you guys saw our gender reveal if you haven't check that out um and we are having our third boy so i'm like full on bull, bull, bull mom full on bull mom <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> full on boy mom. And so one of the things I talked about like helping me like bond with the baby and stuff like that has been picking out his name. And um, so we decided on Adam Benjamin Dewald. So we're not 100% on the name. Like, we know we're going to use that name, but we're not 100% if it's going to be Adam Benjamin or Benjamin Adam. Um, I wanted Andrew to be named Benjamin. Like, I love the name, and I wanted it so bad for Andrew, and my husband was like, absolutely not. He did not like that name. Um, and he was like, we're not naming our child that. So, like I've mentioned in other videos, Andrew didn't have a name for two days. <laughs> We finally settled on Andrew. Um, it was between Andrew, Oliver, and Elijah, and he is 100% an Andrew. So I'm so glad we went with that name. But for this baby, we figured we will wait until he's born. And when he's born, if he looks, you know, and seems like if Benjamin feels right, then we'll go with that. And if Adam feels right, then we'll go with that. Um, we are a, like, as of now, Adam Benjamin only because Dan still doesn't, he's not a huge fan of the name Benjamin, but he does like, guys, be nice. He does like the sound of Benjamin Adam better than Adam Benjamin. So, so I don't know. So I have been calling him Adam and the boys have been calling him Benji. <laughs> so I don't know. Adam Benjamin, Benjamin Adam, Benji. Who knows what it's gonna be, but that's that will be the name, some form of that. So I love it, I'm super excited. I love um, like looking up um, like meanings of names. And it's funny because I never did that with either of my two boys, but now like looking back, I love the meanings of their names. Um, but so when we were coming up for baby names for this baby, it was really important to me that I liked the meaning of the name. And Adam um, means like, like from the earth or like made of the earth, um, something along those lines. I can't, I should have looked it up right before I did this video, but like something along those lines. And then Benjamin is like sun to my right or something like that, um, which is, I don't know, kind of weird, but like, I like, you know, that Adam is like from the earth, like made of the earth. And then our last name Dewald means of the forest. 
So if it were Adam Benjamin Dewald, it would be um, like of the earth, sun to my right of the forest, which altogether it sounds a little, a little off, but I like separately, I like the meanings and everything. So there you have it. There is our name. So little baby Adam has been doing really good. Mom has been doing great. Um, and I'm excited because on Monday already, oh my gosh, on Monday we have our next midwife appointment. So I'm excited because we'll get to hear baby's heartbeat again. And then um, July 6th, which isn't too far away, um, is our like first and probably only sonogram. So I'm really, really getting excited to see that and just to see baby and I don't know, I think that'll be magical. So there you have it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a bump update. Again, this bump is 15 weeks and five, yes, five days. I wore black again, I don't know, I just like black, but it's so hard to see a bump in black. I really don't look that pregnant right now, but we'll pull up my shirt and I'll kinda give you guys a side view. It's funny because I feel like I started gaining baby weight so early in this pregnancy. And then um, I feel like it's just kind of like leveled off. Like honestly, I feel like my belly doesn't look much different than it did at like 10 weeks. Um, so I was like nervous because I was like, oh my God, like I'm showing at 10 weeks already. Like how is this happening? But I feel like my belly hasn't really grown all that. I mean, to me, it doesn't really seem all that much bigger. It's definitely bigger at night. Um, like after I've eaten all day and like, you know, especially if it's like hot and I was sweaty and just like bloaty. Um, it definitely is bigger at night. Um, but obviously that's like bloat and stuff. That's not, that's not actual baby. So I don't know. I'm excited for what week 16 will bring and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.